Hey pumpkins! So I look like an absolute mess right now because I just came back from work. Um, it's um, 6.10 in the evening right now and I got to go for tuition in about half an hour. So I managed to get off work slightly earlier. But I never leave on time. <laughs> so um, you know how I told you guys that I'm not going to buy things because I'm saving for the wedding and you know I'm going to be a good girl and all those other bags of little white lies yeah they turned out to be little white lies apparently so all these things have been accumulated from um, the whole of April till now so it's one and a half months worth of okay so the um, first things that are right on top are these red cherry lashes I hate putting lashes on because I can never get it right I prefer individual falsies as opposed to the whole strip of fake lashes um, only because you know, I, I suck at putting them on. So yeah, I got two red cherry lashes. They were selling three pairs for um, $10. So I got three and I'm left with two. I've already used the other one. And I got them in number 13, which I really like. Um, they're just natural looking lashes. And then something a little bit more full on and dramatic, which I'm afraid I do not know or I don't know if I'll use it ever um, in number 42s. So the 42s are more thick and, you know, more fake lashes. So together with the um, lashes, um, my friend Sarah, you guys have met her before quite some time back, um, she gave me a box of lashes that she doesn't use because um, she doesn't like how they fit her face or her eyes, sorry. And uh, she likes really dramatic lashes and these are sort of really not dramatic lashes at all. They're very natural and wispy. So she gave me this box. I believe you can get boxes of these like that in um, uh, Bugis or I don't know where she got it from but it's $10 a box. Um, and you get, uh, let's see, about 20 lashes, so 10 pairs. Uh, my sister is in, our younger sister is out shopping at Boogie's today. I told her to get me something similar and she managed to find something like that. Yes, I'm trying to, uh, I'm going lash crazy. I'm going lash crazy. So the next three things I got, I got from uh, NYX. So I got three lip products uh, and this I got at the Smoochies. Uh, warehouse um, the same place where I got the lashes from um, so I got mauve because I use it every single day um, it's my daily lip liner I line my lips and fill them in with mauve and um, it's a must for me to purchase it like every single time I order anything from NYX I must get mauve because I run I just booked I ran through them really easily so the lip pencils cost six dollars in Singapore and I got it at the smoochies where, where they're there. I'm so tired I don't know what I'm saying. So I got another lip pencil and this one is called Cabaret my dear. It's called Cabaret in uh, number 804 and it's just a very maroonish color you know like um let me just swatch it for you. Yeah it's like a maroonish reddish color and this one costs um, six dollars as well I wanted something a bit more maroon darker red as opposed to a bright vivid red that I have a plant plenty plenty plentiful and then I decided to go ahead and get another NYX matte lipstick and this one is in the color Merlot I've been wanting Merlot since my birthday I wanted to place an order during my birthday timing but um I didn't find the time to do it so I went down and decided to get this one so um, I actually got the lip liner to pair up with the lipstick and this is what the lipstick looks like I can't exactly say what color it is it's a very stark in between um, you know between a, a raspberry pink and a maroon brick red sort of thing so it's a in between that like in certain lights it looks pink in certain light it looks maroon and it's a confusing color you know Mm. NYX matte lipsticks cost a whooping fifteen ninety in Singapore compared to the six dollars that is in the states. Um, Texas. So next to products I got, my friend actually helped me purchase it when she went to the states. Um, Kathy, uh, she works with me at my day job. Um, she lives in lives in brought up born in California, so she came to Singapore to work. Um, and she went back home to visit her family, and I gave her a whole bunch of things, like a whole list of things I wanted her to buy, but she couldn't find everything because I gave it to her really last minute, like I gave it to her the day before she was coming back, um, so she couldn't find everything. But she managed to get two things that I asked for. Um, the first one is the Revlon Naked, uh, Nearly Naked Foundation in the Color Toast. I did a review on this one in my previous video if you want to check that out. So uh, yeah, she got me this one. I believe this retailed for about 8 USD. Um, yeah, about 8 USD. And then... Um, the second thing I asked her to get me is the much raved about uh, Covergirl Lash Blast uh, Mascara but I think this is the Lash Blast Volume uh, Mascara because the packaging is slightly different. I remember it being like orange and um, I've tried it and um, 
I don't get it. I don't get the hype, guys. Um, mm. it didn't live up to any expectations that I had for it. It just went flat out. So this costs a waste of eight dollars as well. I'm probably never gonna repurchase it, or maybe it's just a different addition to the lash blast um, cover girl i don't know guys i don't know so before i bought the lash blast by cover girl i actually got another revlon girl lashes mascara um and this one i love to bits to death i will repurchase this a million times over because it is fabulous it makes my lashes look freaking long and they are not naturally i have shitty lashes that are inexistent basically so um these are in uh, these this is in black and I always get black. I don't understand brown mascaras. But um, yeah, so this one cost me, I think, it retails for somewhere about 16 to 17 but I remember getting it on sale. So it may have been about an 11 to $12 range. So um, yeah, the Revlon Glow Global. Can't speak the Revlon Glow Luscious Mascara. So the next few things I have left in this pouch um, are the things that I got from the uh, Estee Lauder sale. So um, in Singapore, Estee Lauder has um, private sales uh, once a year, twice a year, I don't even know. But I don't get tickets every year. Uh, and um, so once in a while, I do manage to get them. So this year, my aunt just so happened to get tickets um, through a friend who works in Estee Lauder. So I went down and I got a few other stuff from my mom. Um, but I, it's not in this haul. I got her like an Estee Lauder nail polish, a Bobbi Brown lipstick and a MAC lipstick if I'm not wrong and then I got my boyfriend the Tommy Hilfiger perfume everything was really cheap but these are the things that I got for myself and I did really good you guys I only got six things the sale was ridiculous and I went in with an idea that no I'm not gonna get things that I don't need I, I almost got another 10 shades of brown shadows but I put everything back because honestly you guys I can't afford any more makeup it's all over the place right now so the first thing i got is the bobby brown gel eyeliner the long wear gel eyeliner that is highly raved about and these retail for 40 sing dollars and i got it for 12 sing dollars so massive massive discount right there so i got it in the color black and the next thing from bobby brown as well i got this makeup set um i only got it because i was really intrigued by the um lip color that came with the set so um this must have been one of the holiday collections so i got this set um you know it comes with three eyeshadows a white a taupey silver color a black um two lip colors and a lip gloss so this one costs somewhere between 25 to 30 dollars if i'm not wrong so um yeah this is the um, Bobbi Brown Limited Edition Atomic Pink Lip and Eye Palette. Uh, the next thing I got from Bobbi Brown as well, and this is, I don't think it's Limited Edition or it may be. Um, it is their uh, color, I don't know what I'm reading right now, Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. So it's basically um, a product that is, you know, of dual usage. You can use it on your lips and on your cheeks. And it's in this really pretty color called Blushed Rose. I've used it a couple of times, you guys can already tell, and I love it. Longevity wise, it's a bit meh, but I love it. And I think this retailed for $18. I'm not sure what the original price is. The next three things I got from MAC. So the first one I got is the MAC Mineralized Foundation, the Loose Powder. I was looking for my Studio Fix powder, but they didn't have it. Um, it was out of stock, so I got this one instead. It's a loose powder, and I got it in medium deep, which I think is a bit too pink for me. But anyway, this one cost me $15. Usually, they retail in their 40s, so um, $15 for that. I was quite dumbfounded, and then, you know, the sale was amazing, and I didn't get much, so I'm quite proud of myself for not getting much. The next... Uh, item I got is a lipstick from the Marilyn Monroe collection that came out. I didn't even know a Marilyn Monroe collection came out and I love the packaging. It has a little signature here and then a picture of her. It's just a beautiful packaging. I got it in Scarlet Ibis or Ibis and it's this really bright orange fiery red. Um, I used it once and it kind of looks a little bit weird on me so I think I would have to use this for ombre effect lip not all over my lip but I got it for $12 during the sale so who is complaining? Nobody. So the last item I got from the sale is a MAC um, blush and I do not know 
what collection this came out from. I have been so out of touch with MAC collections lately and um, I really don't know. Um, but this is a cream blush and I've been wanting to have or try out their cream blushes in 99.5 thousand years. And I saw this on sale for um, 15 as well and I decided to grab it. This is in Restore's Dazzle. It's a really pretty plummy colour and again I've used this several times. Yeah, I got this one for 15 The next few things I got are nail polishes. Da, 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 da. The first three polishes I'm going to show you guys are from Essence. Um, they opened an Essence counter in the Watsons near my place and that's the worst thing that can happen to me because these retail for $2.90 each and I decided to go for um, this colour palette. Um, it's a very red colour palette so I have this corally colour and then this vivid bright red and then this maroon. Coral is in number 30 from um, Essence. This one, the red, the bright red is 45 and um, the deeper maroon colour is 26. Each of it costs $2.90 um, but they chip um, two seconds after you apply them. And when I was at the Smoochies Warehouse, um, I decided to get two more China Glaze polishes and I got these two. So the first one is a very pretty um, nude colour for, you know, coloured women. And this is in Dress Me Up. It came out with the Hunger Games collection, I think. Very pretty nude colour. And then this one I've been eyeing on Scrangy.com, um, the nail swatch website. And this is Atlantis. Um, and it's just... Uh, Alice in Wonderland by OPI sort of you know color just teal glitter and it's really pretty I'm looking forward to using this one but I'm just dreading the removing of the glitter the China glaze polishes I bought for eight dollars each at the um, warehouse the last thing I got from the warehouse is my sash uh, top fast drying uh, dry fast top coat I don't know what I'm saying this one I use um, religiously so I always stock this one up um, this one I bought for ten Sing dollars, I think, at the warehouse. Um, if you buy it online, it's somewhere between thirteen to sixteen dollars. So I got it for ten. Stuff are cheaper at the warehouse than they are online. So yeah. Okay, we are reaching the end. I promise. We just got to go through um, this Watson's bag filled with stuffies. I am sorry. Okay, so the first thing I got is a um, hair dye. I got it um, in 4.45 mahogany copper brown. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Excellent Cream. The reason why I'm getting it is because I have developed freaking white hair at the tips of my head. Like here. Like just at the tips. And I do not understand how I can develop white hair at the age of freaking 25. So it looks like this is going to be part of my monthly purchase because I have to cover white hair now at 25 years old. I'm aging. I'm going to be menopausing tomorrow. Damn it. This cost me $18.90 so that's not so bad. So sticking to the hair craze, I got myself another Batiste Dry Shampoo. I really ran out of my first um, bottle. So this one is the one that is uh, has a hint of colour. It has a brownish finish because the previous one I did a review on as well. When you when you spray it on, you get this white cast. With this one, you don't. You have this brown cast instead so it blends nicely into coloured hair um, as opposed to having that white cast. So this one, I love. I love that this came into my life. I will continue repurchasing it. It costs $12.90. Oh my, oh true, my dog is sneezing. Twelve ninety, and I get it at Watson's. The next things I found at Watson's, I'm surprised that I even found them in Singapore. I was walking around and I saw Nip and Fab, like Nip and, Nip and Fab skin products. And I've heard so much about the Nip and Fab body lotions, especially the Pistachio Sunday body lotions from the UK um, YouTubers. And I said, Nip and Fab, Nip and Fab, it's so familiar. So I walked around looking for more Nip and Fab products. And guess what I found? They're selling the Nib and Fab Dry Skin Fix Body Butter at Watson's and they're selling it at the sample sizes, the 50ml sizes and they're selling it with the Mango Smoothie and Pistachio Sunday together for $6.90. And I, I, I saw it and I was like, it must be an introductory price and I picked it up. I didn't even know how they smelled and then I came home and smelled them and I am in love with the product. It doesn't smell like cheap perfumed um, scented stuff it smells like the actual fruit and the you can smell the freshness of the mango and the pistachio sundae smells like ice cream 
I am amazed at the product and it is amazing for drying uh, dry skin so um, I got it and then I decided that no I have to go get more so I got another set of them and they come in these little cute you know bags and they come in a pair and yeah so you can find Nip and Fab in um, Watson's now and I do not know how long these are gonna last because I asked the sales lady and she said they don't have the full size um, you know product in stock so they're not carrying it I would guess so I got the sample sizes and I got two of them to last me for a while and probably will order it online after I love the pistachio sundae you guys love it so the last thing I got from Watson's is like a very random buy I just so happened to see it and I love lip balms that comes in little tins like that and I I don't know I just fell in love with the packaging and this cost me $8.90 it is from Peripera the brand Peripera and um yeah but I have a lot of difficulty opening it and um this is what it looks like so it comes with like the petroleum jelly at the side and this really cute lip with color and you, you're supposed to swirl it around and mix the two and use it on your lips so I tested out the tester tested out the tester I used the tester and I really like the consistency so I decided to get this one and the tester had everything mixed up already so I was so surprised when I opened it to see like the lip separated from the um, jelly one I got from Watson's as well um, everything else is in Korean at the back so I can't really help you with that but um, it's Peripera that's the brand and I got it in number six so yeah, $8.90. So yeah, pumpkins, those are all the things that I bought um in the past 50 days or so, a whole month of April and till now. Not gonna buy, not gonna buy, not gonna buy, not gonna buy. Anyway, I hope you guys found this um helpful and it gave you a few ideas of things that you might want to try out. Um, If you guys have questions on any of the products, just leave your comment for me down below. If I've tried them out, I will get back to you. I apologize if I look drained and sound drained and I'm not making sense or I'm not comprehensive. I, it is after work and I'm going to head out for tuition now. Um, it is 6.45 I think and my tuition starts at 7 so I'm going to drive like a mad maniac but then the centre is about 2 minutes away so it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for coming by again to see this face and um, if you guys want to follow me on any other uh, mediums, mediums, <laughs> platforms, uh, you can follow me on Twitter uh, and Instagram. My name username is Vithiwanan or you can follow my blog at vithiwanan.wordpress.com. All the links are down below for you. So take care, have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye pumpkins.